name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is the 11th day of my being Monday, and week four of Lent. I read this will be coming from Prophet Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17 to 21. A response to sound come from Psalm 10, verse 2 a. A gospel message will come from John Gospel chapter 4, verse 43 to 54. The demon message today is Go, your son will live. Go, your son will live. We are told that when Jesus came to Galilee, left Samaria to Galilee, departed from Samaria to Galilee. For he has already told us that a prophet is not accepted in his own country or have no honor in his own country. But when he came to the Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him because they have seen the signs he walked in Jerusalem when they went for the feast. And he later came again to Cana in Galilee letter to Kafani, where he made water into wine. We are told at Kenna where he made water into wine. At Kafani, there was an official whose son was ill. When he heard about Jesus, he went and begged him to come and hear his own son. He just said, you will not believe until you see, until you see signs and wonders. You will not believe. And he told the man, the man said, look, sir, come before my son died. And Jesus, go, your son will live. Go, your son will live. The man believed Jesus and went home his way. On his way, the servants met him and told him that the child is sleep, was living. And they asked them the hour. They say yesterday at the same hour, because the exact one hour, Jesus said, Go, your son will live. And he believed, and his household believed too. Do you see the implication? Believe in the word of God. Everything will pass away, but not the word. <laughs> and the word cannot go without fulfilling the purpose. Jesus says so. And not out of the world we miss without achieving the purpose. I see Matthew chapter 5, verse 18, following, 17, following. And now why today, Jesus prophetized our prophet that God is creating a new thing, a new Jerusalem, a new earth. He's going to create Jerusalem rejoicing and the people joy. And God will rejoice in his people. There will no more be like infant mortality anymore. There will not be anything like sudden death or not dying below the age of 100. That will not happen. There will be no weeping again, no more money again. There was creating a new, a new earth, a new Jerusalem. The people will build the house and live in it. They plant trees, uh, uh, they will plant crops and harvest it themselves. So they will live in peace when they believe in God. Yes, when you believe in God, that's the blessings, that, that the promises that God will fulfill in you. And the official believed that it was fulfilled in him. Go, your son will live. So, element of belief, when you have believed in God, the promises of God will be fulfilled in you. Now, why the Torah they say, if you believe in God and keep his word and commandments, you are going blessing, you are coming by blessing. And without faith, no person can please God. Hebrew 11 verse 6. So that's why today he's making us creating a new thing, but by those who believe in him. And that's why the psalmist who understood this so well today was the rejoicing God and was saying, I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. Yes, you have raised me up. I'm on the ground. Nothing could have happened if you didn't raise me up. You will understand that believing God we break, bring the word of God for feeding our lives as if we feed in the official today. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us 
I will believe God so that all the word of God, the promises of God, might be fulfilled in us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.